A few months back, I released a video detailing the differences between the EU, US and Japanese versions of the Generation 1 Pokemon titles. It was well received, so today we will be looking at the differences between the Generation 2 games. Now before we get into this video, do remember to subscribe if you aren't already for new weekly Pokemon videos, and let me know in the comments what I should cover next. I think a good place to start would be at the very beginning of the games with the name input screen. On screen now you can see the inputs for the Japanese, Korean and international releases. The Japanese name tiles are higher than in other versions. The international release allows for 7 characters to be entered while the other two only accept 5. Let's stay looking at these menu screens now and move over to the Pokemon menu screen. Once again you can see the Japanese, Korean and international versions of the game. The major difference here is the layout in the international version of the games compared to the Korean and the Japanese ones. In the international release the details are shown horizontally with the other two being vertical. This is due to the Pokemon having longer names in the English titles, thus needing more space than the counterparts. This trend can also be seen here on the trading screens for the games with the international releases once again being horizontally aligned. So let's keep looking at the menus and move over to the PC boxes. The Japanese games allowed for only 9 boxes but they could fit 30 Pokemon in each, while every other version of the game has 14 boxes but can only fit 20 Pokemon. This was also present in the Generation 1 games. Like I said, I have done a video about all the Generation 1 differences, so do go check out that video when this one is done. So keeping a look at the boxes now, we can see that when highlighting a Pokemon, the international version lacks the framing box around the Pokemon image and details. Again, this is most likely due to the name length not allowing a box for spacing reasons. As you can see here on the image shown, Syndicore's name actually goes underneath another box, so the spacing box just wouldn't work at all to be honest. Now let's get away from the menus and look at the overworld. Specifically Pokemon Centers and Pokemart. On screen now are the images for the PC and Marts in multiple regions. The first one you see is Japanese and Korean games, then the English, then French slash Spanish and finally German and Italian. The European titles are all essentially the same, just with the names of the Pokemart changed slightly. Yet the Japanese and Korean titles have the Pokeball logo on the Pokemon Center. Now speaking of Pokemon Centers, let's go to the Japanese version of Pokemon Crystal and go all the way to Goldenrod City. The Pokemon Center here is actually the Pokemon Communication Center. This was a larger building and the outside of it had the Pokeball logo with the letters PCC written on it. The inside of the building is also much larger as this is where trading was meant to take place between the games. Next up let's check out some battle sprites and animations. First up is trainer sprites. In the Japanese version the fisherman trainer class was seen smoking. This was removed in all other releases. This wasn't the only censored sprite though. Internationally, the beauty class was given a longer skirt, the female swimmer's wink was removed, and finally the medium had her beads removed as it could be seen as a religious object. At the time, Pokemon was under fire from various religious groups, but that's a story for another day. If you don't want to hear about how religion attacked Pokemon, do like this video and I'll get the hint. Now let's look at some actual Pokemon. In the English version, Nidoran's gender symbol was shown twice. This is due to the gender symbol actually being part of Nidoran's name in English, and the game also displaying every Pokemon's gender. This was not actually present in any other version of the game as the gender symbol is not part of its name. The animation for the move Sonic Boom was also inexplicitly changed for the international releases. In the Japanese version it was a gust of wind being thrown, whereas in all other releases it just shows a tornado hitting the Pokemon. On Route 13 there is a trainer that had some Pokemon in his team swap. Pokefan Alex had a team that consisted of Kings in Nido King, Slow King and Magikarp. Well obviously Magikarp doesn't quite fit that bill in the English titles, so that was actually changed to be a Sea King to fit the theme. The final change we'll be looking at is the swap of some exclusive Pokemon. In Pokemon Silver in the international versions, Fanfi and Donphy can be found in the wild, with Gold having Teddy Ursa and Ursaring. Yet in the Japanese version of these games, those Pokemon were swapped, meaning that at some point during the localization of the games, the two got changed over. Strangely enough though, the remakes of the games, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, actually use the original Japanese exclusives, meaning that Fanfi and Donphan are in Heart Gold instead of Soul Silver, with Teddy Ursa and Ursaring being in Soul Silver instead of Heart Gold. Well that is the end of today's video, I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, it is a massive help for me and it makes me want to make more videos like this for you. I'll see you all in the next one, peace.